you guys can begin. Hello, our name is Muser, and we're looking to be the future of connecting musicians. Uh, our team consists of five either previous or current musicians, all striving to make the life easier for up and coming bands. Um, each person in our group is currently playing an instrument or used to and can personally speak into the struggles and the lives of our target demographic. Uh, today, we'll be talking about four topics in particular. First, our problem and solution, then uh, market research, our MVP, and finally, our financials. And in 1991, rock band Def Leppard lost their lead guitarist and needed to find someone new. Finding the right bandmate would be crucial to the band's uh, success in the future. Um, later on, they performed over 100 shows in the United States and Canada for, uh, for 100, hundreds of millions of fans in just one year. And now none of this would have been possible without finding a new guitarist. Uh, in Queen's uh, early years, their lead singer walked out on them to pursue, pursue a solo career. And by dumbfound luck, Freddie Mercury saw them and practically uh, forced his way into becoming a part of the band. And then, as we all know, Queen ended up becoming one of the most successful bands ever. The process of finding the right bandmate for, or the right band frustrated 83% of the people we interviewed. In the past, our target customers had only used word of mouth to look for new bandmates or gain popularity. This wasn't working. These musicians couldn't find the right bandmates and also struggled booking venues. Problems like these lead to 91% of musicians being unnoticed and only 1.1% of musicians becoming mainstream and widespread. The main problem in the music community is many musicians have problems connecting with each other and venues often find it time consuming and difficult to find bands for the night. Your musical talent may never be discovered by the world if you can't display it efficiently and effectively. Thus, our solution is the user management app. A matchmaking service allows for musicians to come in contact with one another, as well as coming in contact with venues to play at. We are looking to help current musicians create their own successful stories like Queen and Def Leppard. Our app works similarly to Tinder, allowing users to see profiles of other users and be able to press a green check or a red X, to show interest or pass. When two users both press the green check, they will be notified and they can begin messaging. While Tinder is for dating, our app focuses entirely on playing music and finding people to play with. We can create a match for your next gig, a one-time fill-in, or even a lifelong band member. Now we move on to market research. First, we had to validate our problem. So we conducted 10 customer, possible customer interviews. Seven of these possible, possible customers said that they wanted to use our app to match with venues. And the other three said that they wanted to use our app to match with musicians. Now that our problem was validated, we had to determine our pricing. Through Instagram polls, we determined that $2.99 per month for a minimum of three months would be ideal for our app. These customer feedback interviews also told us that customizable profiles and an easy to use app would be crucial to gaining more users. So far, we have two venues listed on our app and, have, and they have created their profiles. These are Moretti's and Campus Life Center in Barrington. Unfortunately, McGonagall's has not been yet listed on our app. However, we are still in contact with them. Our first match was made through two users on our app that directly matched with an existing band that was at our school. Now our competition. Our main competitor is Vamper. They have a similar business model to ours, but however, they focus more on matching musicians with other musicians to create a band. Meanwhile, we focus more on matching musicians with venues to play gigs. We have three different target demographics. First, musicians aged 18 to 30, then restaurants or other venues, and then households looking to host live music. Currently, we are marketing through Instagram, college radio ads, and flyers. We're going to be putting flyers in music stores like the Chicago Music Exchange in downtown Chicago. Our current marketing strategy is to keep the same audience for each ad, but then change different variables within the ads. First, we targeted just venue matching, then musician matching, and then both. However, we don't wanna just post and pray. So from now on, we're gonna be targeting new opportunities following the pandemic where connections were lost because of the pandemic. So far, we've spent $135 through Instagram and have reached 18,432 people. And, and yet, and so far, we have not run a college radio ad. However, we have done a research and they range from $100 to $200, depending on the size of the campus. Next, we will move on to our minimum viable product. Our MVP journey starts with our landing page. This landing page was created using Wix. Um, after much development and research though, we discovered that the Wix Spaces app would be more effective than the Wix website. 
Um, we chose this because the Wix app was more functional and allowed us to create subdivisions for the bands, venues, and musicians, as well as create a forum page so all the users could collaborate. However, after our initial wave of testing done by 10 of our users, uh, we discovered that our conversion rate would be extremely low because there was too many uh, steps and it was too confusing to go from our ads to be a user on our app. This is where the Glide app comes in. Glide is a platform that allows you to create a website or an app based off a Google spreadsheet. This was extremely attractive to us because we knew how to do this and the final result would be much more professional looking. All you have to do now using this Glide app is go to our Instagram page, click the link in our bio. This will take you to a website where you then add that page to your home screen. This page will act as an exact replica of an App Store app and you just open that app and create an account. Uh, the perks of our new demo include being much more functional as well as being easier to use and being much more professional looking. Uh, the profiles for musicians will include your name, location, uh, experience level, age, and um, clips or videos of you playing. Uh, the band tab will involve your name, location, uh, the genre of the band, and the venue will have your name, location, and any requirements you have for band, as well as any other miscellaneous details. The chat tab will include um, collaborating with other musicians, whether that be individually or in a group. The promotion tab is where you can access all the data for these uh, other three tabs. Our current numbers include 25 musicians, four bands, and two venues. Uh, our secret sauce for now involving getting venues will be contacting them directly. For example, three members of user management walked into Moretti's the other day, had a fantastic pizza, and then talked to the management crew. After, uh, we informed them about what our app was, what our goal was, and they were very enthusiastic to be featured on our app. Uh, in the first developing stages of our app, we will be doing all the matchmaking by hand until our app grows. Then we'll create an algorithm that will do all the work for us. Uh, we believe that the third users on our app validates our solution to this problem, and that with sufficient funding, we will be able to create an app that solves the problem of being noticed for millions and millions of musicians around the world. Investors, we are asking for $13,000 in stake for 18% of our company. In turn, for this money, we will guarantee you a money multiple of 8.4 times or an internal rate of return of 53.7%. This is possible due to a large market size of over 156 million people coming from households across America, musicians, bands, and venues that offer live music. Our main cost lies in startup with a hefty app creation cost of $6,600 and general liability to cover anything that might come up. Our cost of goods and services is incredibly low at only seven cents per $2.99 purchase by the user, giving us a 97.8% margin. Lastly, our SGNA runs mainly due to marketing, as this is what creates growth in our app. We run marketing through Instagram and flyers primarily, as Instagram allows us to target specific markets and gain customer feedback. As well as this, we'll be doing flyers in specific music stores like Dylan mentioned. From year one to year five, we'll grow from 300 users to 12,000 users. This is done through a growth rate that is similar with what we have from our MVP testing. Before, before our ads that we ran, we had 14 users and we were able to grow to 25, 25 users after running ads. This growth rate, we are, we are hoping to keep in line all the way to year five. As we grow and gain money, we, we will be able to scale our advertising from posters in the subway, for example, to all the way to posters in like downtown areas or New York Square even. Lastly, our exit strategy will be to a strategic buyer named Vamper who can use our algorithm and our venue matching service. Thank you for your time, investors. All right, thank you, Muser. Uh, why don't we start with Carlos and then everyone else can jump in. Got it. You want me to just ask, uh, ask my questions or do you, do you need me to introduce myself? Uh, do, why, why don't you do both? Okay. So uh, my name is Carlos Saez. Uh, I've been associated with the program since the beginning, uh, you know, judging presentations and working with you all. So um, it's, it's great to be able to do this again. Uh, Professionally, I uh, run a private equity business that backs young entrepreneurs buying an existing business. Uh, so this is this is the venture part of my portfolio. 
Um, so one, one question I had was, um, is there, was there any way for, for you guys to measure engagement uh, among your users on your, on your uh, platform? So beyond just, hey, they signed up, um, were you able to measure how often they were, they were on the app, uh, different ways that um, the app kind of communicated information to uh, the users, et cetera? Uh, yeah, so on the Google spreadsheet, there is a little separate security tab that's only available to us. This gives us the user's location as well as any other login time. So we can see as many times they log in a week, but um, as far as more specific details, um, we won't be able to see that, but the general stuff we can see, yes. Yeah, so I guess my question is, uh, how did that, uh, did you get a sense for how often your users were checking back in with the, with the website or with the app, sorry? Uh, for some users, it was like once a day and for some it was more once a week. Okay, got it, thanks. I guess my question to follow up on that is, were there any follow-up communications with users to, you know, whether they're using the app for contacting musicians or versus contacting venues? Because to me, that seems to be the differentiation point between your product and the potential competitor that's out there. Yeah, uh, we contacted a lot of our users and uh, once after they had joined and a lot of them said that the main selling point of our app would like that that would keep them coming back would be contacting venues. Well, it was, it was more, it was similar to like our, like before our app interviews were like 70% said that they wanted the app for venues and 30% said that they wanted it for musicians. So that was kind of the seven out of 10 interviews that you were conducted? Yeah, but then we conducted 10 more after they were on our app and it was similar results. I'm curious whether you, you researched any other pricing model beyond a subscription charge to essentially the musician. Um, did, did you explore maybe you know, funding, funding uh, the revenue model just through advertising and making the app free to encourage users or, or something else? We found that uh, through customer interviews that advertising ended up uh, with a bad um, just overall app and very funky usage of what we offer as a service and that we want to offer a streamlined matchmaking connectivity platform. And if the user had to scroll through ads or look through all that, that would kind of turn them away from matching. And that's what we want to do. And through our pricing, it's not very high per month, only three ninety or two ninety nine offers um, just the user not having to worry about ads or anything like that. And subscriptions in total give us more money. It's easier to have recurring customers on a subscription-based model rather than just running off ads. Can I ask a question about uh, your customer interviews? Um, what did people find valuable about what you were offering? What did they like about it? Um, what they found valuable was the ease and use of connectivity with other uh, users that mm -hmm. they really had nothing else comparatively to this and that they were also able to book gigs, which is something that was pretty much a lifeline for some musicians in growing their careers, as well as matching with other musicians to grow their career further. So, um, and I understand you had an MVP and I'm uh, glad that you made your pivots to find something that was friendlier to use, um, such as Glide app. Were, did that have the ability to either have links or somehow some level of audio? So in essence, people could have a digital audition with each other's talents. Talk to us more about that. All right, so when you create a musician profile, in one of the categories that you can fill out, there is a little box where you can input either an audio clip of you playing or a video of you playing a concert with someone else or whether that be by yourself. Okay. And when you map to the band, the band can automatically see that. Got it, okay. And, and there can be three, four, even five audio or video clips 
And yeah, your band will see that and they will judge your performance based off that. Okay. Um, I got a, I have a question. Um, you know, I, I agree in that your secret sauce is, is definitely the link to the venues and, and making that connection. How many venues did you work with um, in between your MVP presentation and now and, and obviously the kind of bad timing with the pandemic and everything hampering the, um, the actual concerts and everything, but did you, do you have a pretty broad um, due diligence with, with the venue side and have you gotten any feedback? So far, we've been in contact with three venues, and we were we were glad to hear that Moretti's is hosting live music three days a week now. So we're hope we're hoping that venues are going to be more like lenient with COVID restrictions, where they can actually have live music. And so two of them were are now on our app, but McGonagall's is still yet to be confirmed, and we got we have to further our conversation with them. Does the app provide a direct email or phone number for the you know, person who's booking uh, performances at the venues? Yeah, it will. Um, under the musician, I forgot to mention this, but under the musician venue and band tab, every single one will have a contact um, email or phone number. It's up to you whether you want to put your phone number or email, you can choose. But um, also, in addition to that, you will be able to chat with the users on the app, so you don't have to directly contact them via email or text on a different platform. You can stay on the platform and converse with them. So theoretically, you'd be able to send a text to the person at the venue who would book talent? Through the app? Yeah. All right. Can you say that again? Yeah. Basically, they can send a text to the spokesperson at the venue through the app, so they can do all the communication through the app. And maybe I missed this. Did Did you have a successful match at all during this MVP? Uh, yes, we did. We matched two bass guitarists who were able to play. I've heard from one of them that they played on multiple occasions together. Okay. Have you looked into um, another avenue like um, like wedding bands and, and things like that that aren't necessarily venues, but there's definitely an organized industry around that? Um, yes, there's businesses that arrange bands for you know offsite performances. Yeah, that was part of our total market share with households and booking things like, for example, graduation parties or weddings or, for example, one of um, one customer or user rather uh, messaged us looking to book a cello player for a house party that they had. So there's there's potential everywhere. What are your plans for beyond this uh, program, this class? Um, are you in it to win it? Will you continue without? backing without uh, funding from the foundation give give us a preview all right so um as far as the five members of the group go me personally i'm the only one that would like to continue with the program uh if we did receive funding money i would hire members from other groups um i would personally interview them see if they're a good fit for our company if not then i would just find more members but yeah i would be the only one to continue Okay. All right, perfect. I think that's a great, uh, great ending. Thank you, Muser. Thank you, board.